If you have tried to buy liquid soap or maybe sanitizer at the grocery store lately, chances are you've come up empty. As your size Jeff Valen says, he is finding out from local doctors there is an age-old alternative they say is better, and usually you can find it still on the shelves. I use regular soap. I don't use antibacterial soap. That's the chief of infectious diseases at Wolfson Children's Hospital. Soap and water is better because at the end, the water rinses away all the dead stuff. That's a neurologist at Mayo Clinic Jacksonville. So why then is perfectly good bar soap available at local supermarkets next to gaping voids where liquid soaps and sanitizers used to be available? That seems to be a very psychological thing, I think, for sure. Oh, and that's a doctor at River City OBGYN. If you're sensing a thread here. If you had all of these in front of you and you needed to wash your hands for a routine hand wash, which one would you choose, doctor? I just use soap and water. Maybe it's because those whose lives and livelihoods depend on being sanitary say there's only one advantage to liquid soaps and sanitizers. They're ridiculously convenient, so you can stick one in your car, one in your office. But the truth is, soap and water is still the ultimate go-to. Dr. Joseph Servan says especially against something like COVID-19 because of its composition. You need this fat compound, that's what the soap is, to break down that virus. And believe me, it will not survive that. As long as you're uh, using proper washing technique. Technique and time, not type of soap, they say, are what's important. Sing happy birthday twice. Uh, if you do that, that roughly will be equivalent to about 20 seconds. Giving a nod to bar soap because, hey, it's within reach. It's available and it's effective, so there's no reason that it shouldn't be the same level as the liquid soaps. Something to think about next stroll down the soap aisle, lest you allow cleanliness to slip from your hands. It, not only is it just as effective, it's probably more effective. Whistling a happy and hygienic tune. Jeff Ballant, First Coast News, on your side.